Okay, our next comic up, you might have seen him on BET, Jerry Johnson! on the stage in Scottsdale without some guy behind a one-way mirror saying to me, number four. <laughs> and please take one step forward, turn your left and say, everybody face down on the ground. <laughs> this is different for me. I'm used to being on stage with three, four other cats, man, and we ain't talking about the city room here. Damn. I got friends living in Scottsdale that I have not seen in months, all behind that racial profile and BS with the Scottsdale PD. Now they're telling me they're taking sensitivity classes, you know, so diversity, so they can interact with people of color. Well, the brother can't be too careful. <laughs> so tonight, we have a designated decoy. <laughs> At this very moment, my partner is hauling ass toward the West Valley. And the whole squad of Scottsdale PD on him. So y'all drink up and have fun, I got this. Under the radar. Any law enforcement in here tonight? <laughs> well, let's talk about their asses. <laughs> I got stopped by the second worst type cop there is. He couldn't wait to write a ticket and he wasn't too bright. <laughs> so, quite naturally, I exploited the latter. <laughs> the first thing he asked when you saw me behind you, why'd you go faster? I said, because you was catching up. <laughs> He's closing the gap, man. He said, sir, I hope they just see you make a U-turn. I told him I hope you didn't see me make it either. <laughs> then he asked, you mind if I search your car for drugs? I told him, don't bother. I've already searched. <laughs> Most of us both of us wasting our time. He asked, what are you, a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> so I gave him a little cosmos and I'll do about nine o'clock this evening on the Supreme Court. He gave me a blank look. So I gave him Bernie Mac. <laughs> so you don't want to say You just don't want to say I ain't scared of you. Bernie Mac ain't not scared of you. See, I'm trying to tell a story. I'm talking about my family. My beautiful white wonder. My beautiful white wonder. My, what the hell? My lovely bride wonder. And that key is Jordan, baby girl, Nessa. That one I said, Nessa, she mine too. Pain in the butt sometimes, but she might pain in the butt. I'll tell you something else. You put a ticket on this car, somebody can jack up in here tomorrow. Bust a move, officer, bust a move. <laughs> so then he threw me, then he had dinner asked him, he said, he gave me a blank look, I think that's what got me the ticket. So now I'm trying to make it to the show, wondering what could possibly happen next. That's when I spotted Elvis. <laughs> my first thought was, he's supposed to be dead. So I hit him with my car. <laughs> I kept on rolling, because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> The strangest thing about that is generally black people do not spot dead celebrities. When a black person sees anybody who's died, it's usually a family member bringing them a message. Like a lottery number or something. White folks, on the other hand, you all have been spotting Elvis's big tail at Dairy Queens and Pickle Sands all across the continental United States. But I got news for you, Elvis is dead and he ain't played a dirty trick on him, so let it go. 
I suppose for a minute that black folks had a big star who died and gone on to his reward and we refused to believe it. We didn't accept it. I'm sure that just like in the case of white folks in Elvis, we have sightings. Could be driving down the street. Boom, what the Hey, 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 peace and love, man. <laughs> I stole what you did to the king bait, and quite frankly, it was not cool. <laughs> now I am in the crosswalk, <laughs> and I've got the light man. If you hit me, I'll haunt you the rest of your life, babe, and I mean that. <laughs> I got one for you, Sammy. I got news for you. You better get your little tail up out of there, because that was at the light, too, but I was in a hurry. <laughs> With all that jewelry on, you make a nice looking hood on it. <laughs> Peace and love that. You all know that Elvis and Sammy Davis Jr. both known for their jewelry collection, right? I picture them in heaven admiring each other's pieces. Well, that's, uh, that's a pretty handsome sized pearl you got there, Sammy. Hey, that's no pearl, man. I dropped my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Telling that on Monday. <laughs> I, get to work. I recently watched the interview of a death row inmate who was scheduled to die by firing squad. There is at least one state, and the number may be as high as three, that still use a firing squad as a form of execution. It's be Texas. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Back to our story. <laughs> no, Texas used his electric chair. That's George Bush. <laughs> Matter of fact, when they had the California power outages two, three years ago, well, when he was still a governor, it was because they ran a power line from California to Texas so he could keep the chair going. <laughs> Back to my story. <laughs> On the day of, the condemned gets to pick, pick his final meal. They talk to this guy, he said, I'm going to have myself a thick, juicy steak. Medium rare, smothered in mushrooms and onions, mashed potatoes and gravies. Country boy, gravies. Some cream style corn, a wheat roll, a nice green salad, no crouton, no salad dressing. I'm gonna be lean and sexy for the execution. <laughs> a slice of key lime pie and two chocolate flavored emus. I said, that's it. You've been on death row 22 years, they about to kill you. That's about as creative as you can get. Let that be me on death row. But don't tell my mother. I'm gonna put them to work. They're gonna have to wait a bit longer for this ghost. <laughs> and according to the statute of the state, as you can you get to select your final meal, what's it gonna be? A Sasquatch burger. <laughs> I'll wait. Sasquatch burger with some White Castle fries, <laughs> a slice of apple pie, and two Pepsis. <laughs> That's just the rub them the wrong way. I mean, what are they going to do? All of you missed the funny man to the very end. <laughs> One damn way of this year, Sasquatch is a figmentation of somebody's imagination. Right along with that there Jason Voorhees and that there Lost Nance Monster. Now quit film dipping around and tell us what is the last thing you have in our week. <laughs> Halle Berry. I believe enunciation is key to communication. My applause, how many of y'all know what Ebonics is? For anybody who does not know, Ebonics is comprised of two words. Phonics meaning black, I mean phon Ebonics, everything meaning black and phonic meaning speech or sound. Some people want educators in California to learn this. In labor's terms, it's black slang. They want people to learn it in order to bridge the communication gap between uh, minority students and teachers. I'm not a fan of Ebonics. I don't believe it's a bridge, I think it's a crutch. My daughter Erica has earned two degrees from the University of Arizona in Tucson. Part of a course study required that she not only speak proper grammar, but that she write legibly and intelligently enough that the dumbest SOB could get her point. <laughs> Made it clear to her that 
when you bring someone to the house, when I say, pleasure to meet you, young man, if he responds with, what's up, dog? I'm picking both of you out of my house. Now, some of you may be in an area of town that you're not familiar with. You may get turned around. You may stop to ask directions. If you are not traveling with your Urban to English cross-reference dictionary, <laughs> Sometimes referred to as the homeboy handbook. <laughs> you don't have that in your glove box, you're still lost. So I'm going to give you first year Ebonics. I'm going to say the word, and I'm going to use it in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> Um -oh. Um -oh. Sean called the house and asked, what time are you leaving? I said, I'm going to leave at 6. <laughs> Settle down, please. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. He said, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. I said, if you call me back at 15, I'm going to be gone. <laughs> Sub a dad. <laughs> when I got stopped by the police officer, that's the first thing I said. Sub a dad. <laughs> bothering. I'm sitting there mad as hell. I said, these cops always bothering somebody. <laughs> what for? <laughs> he said, sir, step out of the vehicle. I asked him, what for? <laughs> Ran. Ran. While I was sitting there, he ran my plates. It's <laughs> about to get ignorant up in here. <laughs> churn. Churn. My mama have ten churns. Five boys and five girls. <laughs> Fitna. What you finna do? Go to the comedy spot. What you think of that? Seven us. Everybody got something to drink. Seven us. <laughs> defecation. Defecation. Is this Power 92? I like to request a defecation. Can you play some Barry White for my boo? <laughs> Y'all are wrong. <laughs> hold down, hold down. In Texas, that's a dance. In a rap video, some girl just got shot. <laughs> that's just wrong. <laughs> Ejaculated. <laughs> Ejaculated. There's a real bad accident on the interstate. I heard tell several people was ejaculated from the vehicle. <laughs> both on. You want the red or the blue? Why can't I have both on? a very nice jury. That chain right there. <laughs> holy do, holy do, holy do, ho. Three rappers, 50 Cent, Little Chris, and Snoop running for the elevator. Holy do, ho. Fee, fee, five, five, fo, fo, fee. Mike Tyson's phone number. And the most common and widely used word in New York, scobitch. Loosely translated, it means, honey, I'm ready to leave. Scobitch. I'm Jerry Johnson. Thanks for coming out for this.